The Quality Index Method, or QIM scheme, is an effective method for assessing the quality of whole fish. It is quick and efficient, but it has two serious weaknesses. The QIM method can only properly be applied to whole fish. Fillets and fish that have been headed cannot readily be assessed using this method. The second weakness is the number of individual factors that have to be scored and added up to provide the quality index. Scores can be recorded on a simple form or by using a handheld device such as this Scion Netpad. QIM schemes exist for more than 17 species and more are added each year. Schemes for cod, place and salmon can be seen here and you should note that the indicators for these schemes do vary slightly as do the total available points that make up the individual schemes. The COD scheme looks at 10 different indicators that add up to a score between 0 and 23. The scheme for place looks at 8 different indicators and scores can range from 0 to 24, while this farmed salmon scheme looks at 11 indicators that can add up to a total of 24. Let's look at a fish in detail and see how the scores all add up. This is a nice fresh cod of good quality. As we work through each of the indicators, we record our scores for adding up. The appearance of the skin of this fish is bright with iridescent pigmentation, which gives a score of zero. While this fish is not in rigour, it is still fairly stiff and the flesh is elastic to the touch, which results in a score of 1 for stiffness. The eyes have a cornea that has just started to cloud over and become opalescent. The shape of the eye is still clearly convex, while the pupil is no longer black but has become opaque. The QIM scores for these indicators are 1, 1, 0. The three indicators for the gills are colour, odour and mucus. As you can see here, the colour of the gills is still bright, with no discoloration and the mucus is just turning milky. These score 0 for colour and 1 for mucus. The odour of the gills was fresh, seaweedy and even slightly metallic, resulting in another 0. On a market, we would not usually cut open a fish to assess the flesh colour and would have to rely on the small area of flesh cut during gutting. Here, though, we can take a whole fillet off and it is apparent that the flesh has almost a bluish transparency and the blood is still a strong red colour. These last two indicators score zero each. The total score for this fish is 3. The last thing to determine is the remaining shelf life. This table shows the quality index score. How many days on ice a cod would typically spend to get to this index score and the remaining days on ice before the fish is too poor a quality to be sold. For this fish, the table suggests that it has spent 3 days on ice and has a remaining shelf life of 12 days if properly kept. In this programme you have seen how the indicators contribute to the total score and how that score correlates with days on ice and remaining shelf life.